Gaustrid on elimination, and we're going to look at a 3x4. And a 3x4 has, uh, if you do it in the correct order, um, maximum number of steps is 9, so uh, a little bit more than the 2x3 and a little bit more cumbersome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just write out, um, we'll go to the next slide here. I'm going to go ahead and write out our matrix. And then over here, we'll write down what we'll do. Okay. So we would like row one, column one to be a one, and then everybody else in column two to be a zero. And then in row two, column two, we would like a one, then everyone else in that column a zero. And then in a row three, column three, we'd like a one, and then everyone else be a zero. Uh, so when we start out with this matrix, we do get the row one, column one is one for free. So one less step for us to do. Um, now I need to make row two, column one a zero. So if we're making something zero in column one, we're going to use row one. So we're going to use row one and we're going to do the opposite of two, which is negative two. So we're going to do negative two, row one, add that to row two to replace row two. Okay, so negative 2, row 1, and then add that to row 2. Okay, so just like the 2 by 3, it's just a little bit more cumbersome. There's a lot more arithmetic, so it's easier to make a mistake. So I'm going to write rows uh, 1 and 3 as is. They were not affected by this uh, row operation. Only the second row was uh, uh, changed and it now becomes 0, 5, minus 3, negative 18 after we do all that exciting arithmetic. Okay. Alright, so we're two-ninths of the way there. We're, we're making progress. Now I would like this to be a 0, this 3 to be a 0. It is in column 1, so to make a 0 in column 1 I need to use row 1. And I'm going to do the opposite of 3, which is negative 3. So we're going to use row 1, so negative 3, row 1, add that to row 3, and replace row 3. Okay, so we'll write down uh, the uh, steps over here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add those and replace. So 0, 1, negative 12, negative 15. Okay, so the top two rows are unaffected this time. And it's the bottom row that has now changed. The bottom row becomes 0, 1, negative 12, negative 15. Okay. And we are a third of the way there. Good for us. Okay. Now, the next step is to make this a, uh, this 5 there. We would like to make that a 1. Usually, we're going to multiply by um, the reciprocal most of the time. However, because we're efficient and we notice things, um, I'm going to go with the path of least resistance here. I notice I already got a 1 here, and uh, row swaps are perfectly good, and this will actually avoid the fractions here. So we may not always be able to avoid fractions, but in this particular problem we can. Okay, so we're going to just swap uh, rows um, 2 and 3. That's it. So top row is unaffected. The bottom two rows are going to be switched. Okay, and there we have it. Now we are four ninths of the way there. We're we're getting we're getting through this. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next uh, slide. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, rewrite this matrix. Okay, so we'll just rewrite that same matrix, and then I will also write in uh, kind of the order I'm gonna follow. So I'm gonna write that same order, and um, this order is is very important to follow. If you don't follow this then um, you may end up taking extra steps um, and creating uh, extra work for yourself. So I don't want you to uh, do extra work. You don't want to do extra work unless you know you really like just playing with the, these row operations which is which is fine but this is the most effic uh, efficient way of, of doing this by hand. Um, so we are I did say we are um, four ninths of the way there. Okay. Now I would like to make uh, a zero here and here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go for row one first. Both of these zeros I want to make are in column two. To make zeros in column two, 
to make zeros in column two, I need to use row two. So the opposite of negative one is positive one. So really what we're just going to do is we're going to add row two to row one uh, to replace it. So I'll go ahead and write down uh, that arithmetic there. Uh, I'm not going to narrate all of it. It will just sound silly and uh, probably make it a little bit more confusing. Okay, so we get one, zero, negative 11, and negative 7. Okay, so rows 2 and 3 are unaffected this time. The only thing that's replaced is the top row. All right, we're halfway there. We've we've completed five ninths of the uh, of the uh, journey for a uh, two uh, not a two by three yeah uh, three by four. Okay, we would like to make this five a zero, and it is in column two. So to make a zero in column two, we use row two. The opposite of five is negative five. All right, so negative five a row two plus row three becomes or replaces row 3, so we'll go ahead and write out that arithmetic, negative 5 row 2, and then we'll add a row 3 to it. Okay, so a new row 3 is 0, 0, 57, 57, so 1, and we'll just write rows um, 2 and 3 because they are unaffected. The new uh, row 3, 0, 0, 57, 57, all right, and now we are two-thirds of the way there. We're almost done. We want to make this 57. Well, not that second 57. We like to make that a 1. So we will multiply by the reciprocal, which is 1 over 57. It's the same thing as dividing by 57. So 1 over 57, row 3, is going to replace row 3. So the uh, top two rows are unaffected, and we'll just write them as is. And the bottom row becomes 0, 0, 1, 1. All right. So now we are two-thirds of the way there. And um, I'm going to go on to the next slide. I'm just going to rewrite that matrix first. And uh, we'll continue. Okay, so just rewrite that same matrix. Okay, and we will just rewrite our uh, steps, our guideline we want to follow. Again, we just have two more steps to go. Okay, so we'd like to make um, this a zero and this a zero, and they are both in column three. To make zeros in column three, we're going to use row three. So to make zeros in column three, use row three, and we're going to use the opposite. And by the way, I did catch myself in a minute here. Um, this was a negative 15, so um, that's all it takes. And I realized that things weren't going so well, so I had to go back and find my error. Um, so keep that in mind. It's very easy, and, it, and it's kind of frustrating sometimes when you don't find that error. So I, I do believe I write in that negative sign in just a moment there. So it is a negative 15. All right. So we're going to do 12 row 3, and we're going to add that to row uh, 2 to replace row 2. Okay, so it wasn't 27 there. It's supposed to be a negative 3 there, so I did catch myself. Um, so our new row 2 is going to be 0, 1, 0, and negative 3. So I'll write rows 1 and 3 as is, and then the row 2 is now 0, 1, 0, minus 3. And we are just about home free. We have one more step. We have the negative 11 there that we would like to make a 0, and that's in column 3, so we use row 3. The opposite of negative 11 is positive 11. So positive 11, row 3, added to row 1 to replace row 1. And 11, row 1, and we're going to add that to row 11, row 3, added to row 1. Okay, so row 1 becomes 1, 0, 0, 4. The uh, bottom two rows are unaffected, and top row becomes 1, 0, 0, and 4. And we have now completed it with our ordered triple, 4, negative 3, and 1. So a uh, little bit more work than the 2x3s, uh, but procedurally it's the same, and you just got to do a couple of them, and, and you get the hang of these. Um, 
have fun.